Alex Ade Adefemi, popularly called Triple uh, A, has joined us once again this morning to uh, motivate us. And our uh, topic today is uh, how to, you know, go out of this year a better version of yourself. Right? We're talking about about uh, three to five things you can do before the last day of December. Now, this is one that I'm very sure you would want to be interested in because I also am. I need to learn what to do uh, before what now we have like. Uh, a month and a week. Yeah, they're about. To, you, they're you about. We have about 40 days left. And to the end of the, the end year, of man. The year. Man, I'll be in 2020. Yes, this year ran so fast. Yes, I mean, <laughs> when did you start the year? That was like, <laughs> and the way it happens, you know, yeah. it's, it's interesting. But, you know, the, we need to look at it at, as the year comes to an end. Mm. You need to start looking at, okay, so how, because by God's grace, we will, live, we will all live to see next 2020, right? Man, yep. And, and so you need to start looking at what, how do you want to finish this year on a good note and start the next one on a good note as well. Note because as well. you want to be able to improve. You want to be able to progress. Mm. And that's what we want to talk about. Um, okay. I want us to look at about three to five things. Okay. That, right, um, I'm not sure, even sure we'll be able to finish all finish the three to five things But what we can today. do, we will do. Um, so um, that we need to look at before the 31st of December that you must do. Now, mm. I believe that, I believe in, in the whole concept of it is a retreat. Now, okay. I believe that organizations who take themselves seriously, what they do is that they, um, they go on a retreat before the end of the year to review their year and then plan for the next year. And I believe that human individuals should do that as well. You should go on a personal retreat to review your year and then plan the coming year. Now, in doing that, there are a few things, these are three to five things I feel that are very essential that you should do. First of all, you should review your relationships. I know that there are a lot of other things other people will tell you, but I'm trying to pick, pick out the things that people might not tell you that you should review. You should review your relationships. So there are people in your life who were in your life before now, who you have valued, who you have invested in, who, have invested, who has invested in you knowingly or unknowingly, okay. that you need to review and ask yourself, how has this thing been useful to me so far? Okay. How has this relationship, brother, been useful to me so far? So you want to look at, um, there are people I call drainers. Hmm. These guys just drain your energy, literally. Okay. And they, right. do, um, they drain you emotionally, sometimes even drain you physically, drain you mentally. And they're not necessarily adding much to you. Now, how do you identify a drainer? A drainer is somebody who just, um, how would I put it, who is focused on themselves most of the time. So even when they come and meet you and they are talking to you about what they want you, or, or they seemingly are talking to you about what they want you to do to improve, is because it affects them. Where can you draw the line between drainers mm. and uh, mentees? Now, fantastic, brilliant question, Mike. Now, how do you draw the line between drainers and mentees? Like I said, they are selfish. Okay. Drainers are all about themselves. Okay. Life is a give and take. You must understand that you can't, in any relationship that you are in, it should not be a parasitic relationship. Mm. It should be a symbiotic relationship. Symbiotic. I mean, we need to study biology, man. <laughs> that means True. give and take, both ways, synergy. So it has to be both ways, just like you said. You need to be gaining something from that relationship. That relationship needs to be gaining something from you. If it's one way, it's parasitic. And so if somebody is all that you, in that relationship, you're not gaining anything from them. I have mentors who are, who are higher than me, who, have, who are better placed than me, who seemingly do not need anything from me. So what do they gain from But you? what do they gain from me? They gain a lot of things. They are a lot, they're a lot of um, opportunities that I might have access to that they might not see because of where they are. And I might see quickly and say, ah, boss, this thing is so sorry. Can you do this thing? It will help you. You're more or less and like the man on the ground. The you man get. So there are some things that they can get done at the level that they need to get done at my level in. that, exactly. they, they, that they, they can do, that I can do for them. Definitely. And so it's a symbiotic relationship. They are, they are, I have, a men, they have mentors that I've opened doors for certain things for. You might think, ah, my mentor opened door. But because I have access to that thing, hmm. and my mentor doesn't have access. He's my mentor, yes, but doesn't mean he has access to everything. I have protégés as well who um, have access to certain things that I don't have access to. You understand? And because I'm, they have access, they can be of use to me and Wonderful. help me advance. Wonderful. So I that's how you this. identify drainers. I love this. Now, the next thing is you need to identify your success squad. Mm. Now, these are the guys that you know that when you want to get things done, they are, all, they are, on, your, they are on your team. 24-7, your success squad. You need to look at this year and say, who are those that have been 
that have been useful to my success? Who are those that have made, shown interest and they no, have it, it, given brings, their own time and their resources for me to succeed? This me back. It's both ways, you know, because people think about how much of people that have been in my success squad. How about you being in other people's success squad? That's, like, you know, it's still the same Exactly. Thing. Uh, exactly. Know, because I tend to, you know, a lot of people, you know, you, people always think of, okay, yes, me, yes, while you do mm. uh, self-appraisal and mm. you know, you're weeding out and all of that, mm. you also need to understand that somebody also might mm. appraise you and probably weed you out. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, somebody's a villain in every, yes. you know, uh, at least you're yes. a villain in one other person's story. And but the truth of the matter, something. Mike, is this. You can't be in everybody's success squad. Okay, so, so definitely. So somebody might actually look at you in that relationship and say, okay, this person is not, was not in my success squad or hasn't been useful to me. And then say, okay, maybe I should, this, it didn't work for this relationship. Okay. It's fine. It's not all relationships that you can that keep. You, can you understand? Keep. So, and that takes me to the next level of relationships, all right. which is your influencers. Hmm, your These influencers. are guys that they have influence on things around and in your field or are in other fields and that can be of use to you, but you don't necessarily have a relationship with them. Okay. So you can be able to find ways, which, who are the influencers that you need going into 2020? Hmm. That you need to try and build a relationship with. So in building a relationship with, you need to start trying to find a way to cultivate those relationships. So um, maybe you want to try and um, be of value to them so that they can notice you. Um, hmm. Or you want to send a proposal to them that can be useful to what they are doing and just b give free service or something to them that can mm. make them say, oh, this person is here, this person is of value to me, and try and cultivate a relationship. Maybe you want to send a message to them if you get their phone numbers somehow. Um, you want, maybe if you have their phone numbers. There are some people who have, you have your phone numbers and you don't necessarily relate to it, but they have influence in certain levels that mm. can open doors for you in 2020. Hmm. So you need to ask yourself, what are the things, what are the people that you need to find relationship with? Hmm. And that determines, and that also is a matter of what are the things you want to achieve in 2020? Who are the influencers that can influence those things for you to get, help you get those results? And then, of course, um, you, you know me, I like, to, I like to speak things from a spiritual angle as well. You need to have the ultimate relationship, which is God. Hmm. So you need to review that relationship as well. How is that relationship going? Um, I believe in being God-fearing and doing things in line to please God. So you don't, we don't do things, and, and in, not, in simple ways, it's just by having values, having good character, and doing things to help your neighbor. So wonderful. I think those are, those are the things when it comes to relationships that you need to review. Wonderful, wonderful, Triple A. I'll get back over this discussion. I'll definitely put out this video. This is something that you should uh, take note of. Uh, go through this video and ensure that you are able to do these things he said today, All right? Later, I'm talking about, of course, uh, this interview, which we'll put up on YouTube. Thank you very much, Triple A. It's Thank always a pleasure much. having you Thank in the you house. Much. All right, so uh, Mary and uh, Natito. What's up, guys? That, uh, I didn't get the name of that stuff you guys are doing. It's a uh, Ninja flavor taco, Mike. Taco. And you will enjoy it. Let me show you how much they use. Taco, okay. <laughs> taco? Taco Quite is Mexican. Quite a lot of hungry men patrolling and prowling oh, more you like... What's your piece, oh? <laughs> piece, okay. <laughs> All right. Mike, seriously? Well, you're welcome to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Chef Nathaniel of Natido Cuisine 